think tuna is better. I think it's ham is just like a like a false um, conspiracy. Cons what is it called? <laughs> this is Rain Amplifies cooking video number two. -na 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 -na. Okay, so we're gonna be cooking hiyashi chuka today, which is the cold noodle with vegetable. As you can see, these are the ingredients that we're gonna be using today. And then on the side, we're gonna be using uh, making a tofu, hiyayako. Because summer is coming up, we're gonna be doing this. Let's do it. Alright, so first, we're going to be using this cucumber. So you want to cut it probably like 5 centimeter, more like this. So, yonto oven te nante Four bucks. Four, yeah. Okay. And you're going to be cutting it a little um, quarter inch. Quarter inch. So today, for some reason, I look like I'm gonna go clubbing. Oh, talk about clubbing. There's some new drinks that I have to. Uh, well, people have been telling me that you know I'm, I talk junk, I look junk, that my drinking too much. There's a lot of whiskey involved. But hey, doesn't have to be whiskey all the time. Look at this one. This is only three percent alcohol. That's that's not bad at all. This is a um, shiroi sawa. I think if you ever had kao pico in US, it's called kao pico. But this tastes some, something similar to that. Um, sweet and good. So this is the 3% alcohol. It's called horoyoi sour. Horoyoi means like tipsy. Or just tipsy enough okay not too drunk it's just like a good good starting to get drunk kind of that's the name of this now i also have ryokuchawari this is the green tea vodka that i like to drink this is just tea this is tea but alcohol there's no um, toast to zero which means no sugar no sugar no sugar zero, zero sugar um, this is 4%. So that's even lower than a beer. You can just, I mean, you have, okay, the water's boiling, so we're gonna start this. But anyway, this is so good. Should I try this one too? No. I know what it tastes like, so I'm just gonna go with this for now. Let's do the eggs. Alright. So we're going to be using two eggs because we're going to be cooking for two people. Okay, put this over here. Oh, I forgot. Um, need a little bit of sugar because in Japan, sweet uh, eggs are very common. So I usually like to put just a little bit of uh, sugar. So we have the sugar. I like to use brown sugar. I don't like white sugar. I never use that. This is from Amami Oshima, which is like the south of Japan. Ooh, I think that's good. The two eggs. No, but this is going to be a very flat omelet. It's not like a... Oil. Yes, I need oil. I'm so unprepared. Okay, just a little bit like this. And then, oh. Right, for the eggs, you definitely don't want to burn the eggs. The low heat on it. And while we're waiting for the oil to heat up, let's cut up some hams. Um, ham is a very common one. But I personally like 
tuna with it. So we're gonna be cutting ham in strips too. The thing about Japanese food is that it's, you know, the design, the eyes, you wanna make, you know, present it very nice. I mean, that's the same as Japanese <laughs> food. Okay. <laughs> so you wanna cut them like this. Very good. Very good ham. <laughs> you want like a bigger pan. I would have like a bigger pan. Okay. Next. It's like bit. Next. Tomato. Tomato, tomato, tomato. It's tomato in Japanese. <laughs> Tomato, tomato, tomato will be cut into. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I don't want to do the strips. I'm gonna cut it kind of thinly slice, like caprese style. I'm gonna do that. That's how I like my tomatoes. Okay, this is not a very good knife, but it's okay. Mmm. Mmm. Good tomatoes. I shall say. Very nice. So now, oh, I, for, I almost forgot about the egg. It's going. Let's see. Oh, it's not even. It's not even cooking yet. Okay, good. Okay, so next, we're gonna be boiling the noodles. I think it's... Oh, I didn't even read it. Is it three minutes or five minutes? Because it, it depends. It's usually three minutes. Four minutes. Four minutes. Wow. Okay. Let's boil them. Okay. So we have a moment. Let's drink. Oh, and we're going to be making this tofu. This switch takes no time. It's literally like two minutes. No, a minute. I can do it. I I can do it less than a minute. I think. It's like kind of burning. It's. It did not. Supposed to look like this. It's like namajan that I can't eat this thing. I can't eat this shit. Look at this. It's like hanjuku. Fuck this. What? Put it over there. It's not Alright, so we fucked up the egg and all we use is this much. You wanna cut it in strips. This. So we have tomatoes. Stripped uh, cucumbers, stripped ham, and stripped egg. You should be cutting it a little bit, a little bit skinnier than this, but Okay, so we're gonna be boiling these noodles for four minutes. Let's get that going. Oh. Gonna make sure it doesn't stick together. These packs are very easy, uh, very easy to make, and uh, you can buy at any supermarket in Japan. Okay. So I've been challenged to make this in 60 seconds. This. this is hiyayako. So all you need is this, this, this to drain the ginger. Alright. Are we gonna start? There's a timer here. Alright. Start. Ding. Okay. 
Okay. This top. A little bit of fish it. Oh. Oh no! No! Did it not open? Okay. And shoots. Where is the soy sauce? Bing! That was a less than a minute. 53 seconds? Yeah. Hey. Alright. So this is Hiyayako. Hiyayako. Yako means the tofu. I'm pretty sure. I think Hiya means cold. Cold tofu. But you can, I also love to put sesame oil, so can you, oh, actually, yeah, let's do that. Oh, okay, thank you. I love putting sesame oil on this, it's really good. And you can also eat with kimchi too, if you like kimchi. You can have this on the side, just like, you know, just a little bit. Alright. Yeah, how's the noodles? I think noodles are doing good. I think those are good to go. Let's see. Just a little more. Probably like 20 seconds. And now we're... Oh, where's the... Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh, actually... Wait, I think this one drains faster. I feel like it. Here. Boom. Barim. The point is right here. We're gonna drain this quickly and put it in the ice water. Yes, chuka is cold noodle, so you want to just make sure it just adds that texture to the noodle. It makes them al dente and it's getting cold now. I can feel it. No, strange to make up. in the middle. So you're gonna put these cucumbers and this and then one side the ham. Well we're gonna make this one with ham. I like mine with tuna. So I'll do that for mine. Get the eggs on there like this and then the tomatoes. Look at that, how beautiful is this? This is a summer food, summer soul food of Japan. There it is. And a little bit of seaweed, of course, to top it off. Whoa. <laughs> okay. And this comes in the pack, so you just open it and you don't have to add water, you don't have to do anything. Some people like to put extra vinegar on it because this is like a vinegary soy sauce, Japanese uh, sauce. Oh, there we go. Just put this on top. And that's the finish. Yeah, done. Done to. There is Hyashchuka. Ta da! Alright. Let's see how I did it. Oh, with the yesterday guys. It's kind of messy. <laughs> I forgot. The sesame. I love sesame. I put it on anything. Yesterday is good. This also. Mm, beautiful. Amazing. Okay. I'm gonna go for it. Alright. First yesterday of the season, I think. I haven't seen. I haven't. I had yes chuka this year, so this is like summer, came fast. Okay. 
Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now I feel like I'm in the summer. Like, I'm... Is this summer yet? Like, mm, this taste. It's just amazing with the vinegar, the crunchiness, you know, cucumber and the eggs and... And it's really beautiful, you know? Like, with all the colors. Mm. So... Yeah, and here I am. Okay. I'll get the... Let's try this. It's just tofu, but... You know, with all these ingredients... It just becomes something... That's a big piece. Mm. Yeah, my hair, so good. When I eat like good tofu like this, man, with the sesame oil, it's so good. Um, I just think like you know, thank you that I was born here in Japan and get to eat this like amazing tofu. Like tofu, it's like not the hand. <laughs> and the Hi, tuna is Definitely. Mm. I think tuna is better. I think it's Ham is just like a, like a false, I don't know, conspiracy, cons what is it called? <laughs> like people, you know, those advertisements and the packaging and everything tells people, you know, you better use ham, it's really good, but actually, this is better, canned tuna is better. So thank you for watching, and amplifies second cooking video Yashchuka. I hope you enjoyed like comment subscribe and um, we really appreciate your comments so um, please let us know if you want to see something or if you don't like me you know let me know any opinion is appreciated so see you guys Shoo.